And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we got the official Apex and Valor event shirts tonight for an all-time low of only $10. And that's available tonight at the Fracture Fightwear booth, along with all the great Fracture gear here tonight. The official Apex event shirt, only $10 tonight at the Fracture Fightwear booth. As we move on to our next bout, this one in the flyweight division, brought to you by Valor 24, July 18th in Crossville, Tennessee. Please welcome to the cage at this time, fighting out of the red corner, Robbie Lester. Our next bout, it's bout number nine. It's Robbie Laster, three and three, weighing in at 124 pounds in this 125 pound flyweight bout. It's presented by Valor 24, July 18th. Robbie Laster, an independent fighter out of Pennington Gap, Virginia. And Laster stands uh, weighing in at 124 pounds. What do you think about this uh, this flyweight bout tonight between Laster and Aaron Milloway? Man, flyweights are always exciting. They're hard to watch because they're so quick. It's, uh, <laughs> man, these guys are like little fireworks going off, man. You never know what's going to happen in the fight. The fight at 125 pounds can change in the blink of an eye. You can get one guy that's just firing off strikes and the next guy, you know, coming out of nowhere and finishing the fight. So it's it, always entertaining to watch the little guys, man. So Robbie Laster is getting final preparations entering the cage. It's Apex Fights 6 here at the Dickie Warren Dome in Bluntville, Tennessee. I'm Vince Ferrara along with Diablo Dustin Walden here tonight. Already an exciting night of fights, man. We haven't even got to the... Uh Halfway through the amateur card yet. <laughs> now, please welcome his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, Aaron Milloway. So the opponent is Aaron Milloway. Milloway, one and two, fighting an independent fighter out of Morristown, Tennessee. You know, I, I got a chance to talk to Milloway in the back, and okay. I, I think he's actually started doing a little bit of training over at F5. They've uh, a little bit of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, man. Those guys are, uh, you know, they, good gym out of Morristown. I'm not sure how long he's been training there, but, you know, apparently that's uh, where he's been getting some of his training in for this fight. Milloway a little bit more active. His last time out, Milloway a win over Blake Nuremberg. That was at Apex Fights for uh, submission, a rear naked choke win actually for Milloway. And then prior to that had losses to Michael Linus and uh, Caleb Sanchez. Uh, one of them at Valor Fights 14. That was a while ago, that was in 2014. Uh, unanimous decision loss to Linus and then also lost on a guillotine choke to Sanchez back in, uh, in 2011. He had a gap between fights from 2011 to 2014 did middle one. Man, that's, a, that's actually a pretty big gap, but I can't say much because I took uh, about two years off in between fights before. So, you know, but maybe this kid's ready to shine. And uh, like you said, he's ready to impress everyone here tonight. For so. for you, it was to concentrate on, on coaching, correct? Yeah, that is correct, yeah, man. I mean, I got a lot of tough guys in there. All right, back to the cage for our official introductions. Here's Cody Wynn. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout will be in the flyweight division. Brought to you by Valor Fights, 24 July 18th in Crossville, Tennessee. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of this bout is Josh Ward. Interesting first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he brings in a record of three wins with three defeats. He went in 124 pounds, fighting out of Pennington Gap, Virginia, Robbie Lester. Standing here across the cage tonight. Fighting out of the blue corner, he brings in a record one win with two defeats. He went in 123 pounds. Fighting out of Morristown, Tennessee, Aaron Murray. Both fighters, black trunks. Both fighters with black gloves. A little bit uh, of difference. And Robbie Laster. Oh, coming out with that lead leg kick, man. 
Ready to fire off. Looks like he's ready to bang. Oh, he level change, ready for a shot. Oh, we got a guard pull and a possible guillotine choke. Wow. I don't know if he has it locked down, though. He lost his control of it. Laster on top. <coughs> Milway looking for that. Uh, looks like an arm bar, maybe a uh, triangle setup, but it looks like Laster here is trying to get that guard pass going. What's your favorite top position? I know Melee likes the half guard, even though actually full is more. And here's a, a arm bar attempt. Is he, is, let's see if he's got it. He needs to be. Lester needs to be stacking him up, putting his knees over top of his shoulders here, which he's he's going to try to stand and slam him out of it. it this works about 20% of the time. Normally, it just puts you into an even worse position. But not really sure where this where this one's going to lead him. I mean, it's not really in tight yet, but that being said, he's not really doing anything to defend it. Both fighters in the black trunks. Milloway does have that turquoise tape around his, uh, his wrist and his gloves. And now Walden raining down on with some elbows. Excuse me, Laster raining down with some elbows. Yeah, going and amateurs, you can elbow to the body. You just can't elbow to the face. So, trying to get that arm go. bar. He, if he just angles out a little bit, he possibly have. They didn't have good leg control here. It looks like Laster has his leg wrapped in between his, which is blocking off his angle of his uh, of his arm bar here. But it looks like he's broken free, and he's wow. got it. It looks like he's locked in. The head shots. There it. it is. The head shots freed him up. Yep. Aaron Milloway. You know, I talked to Miller in the back, and that's exactly what he said he was looking for was that submission victory. So, you know, arm bar is exactly what he came out to do, and he did it. And that is win number two in Aaron Milloway's career. He evens his record at two and two, and he jumps to the top of the cage looking for a response from the crowd. Very well done by Milloway, who is pretty much in control, and we have another first-round uh, ending to, uh, to a bout. Yeah, man, these fights are going quick in the uh, amateur part of the card, so you got, they're leaving it up to these uh, professionals to entertain the crowd a little more tonight with a little more, uh, little more time consuming on the fights. Yeah, and we still have, boy, we've got, even on the amateur card, we've got some uh, really, really good bouts on the way. All right, let's go back to the cage. Cody Winner, official results. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Ward has called a stop to this fight. One minute, 46 seconds into the first round. Your winner by submission via armbar out of the blue corner, Aaron Milloway. Aaron Milloway showing real nice sportsmanship, really encouraging Robbie Laster and the win is there you see Milloway posing with our beautiful ring girls here tonight at the Dickey Warren Dome in Blountville. The win goes to Aaron Milloway in a flyweight bout.